Open infrastructure provides a flexible and interoperable environment for different forms of compute storage and network capabilities. And as the technology evolves, so do the collaborations that make it possible. Here to discuss one such partnership is Sandro Tavares, Director of Telecom Systems Marketing at Dell Technologies. Sandro, good to see you. So why is open infrastructure a priority for Dell and how does it fit into your long-term strategy? Well, I would say that open infrastructure is a priority for the industry, right? And uh, of course, Dell uh, is following up on that. So basically, we got to a point with the evolution of technologies like edge computing, 5G, and so on, that uh, to actually be able to make justice to all of the, all of the demands that are going to be imposed into the networks from now on, uh, the traditional way of doing things simply doesn't work anymore. So like the closed stacks, uh, the proprietary solutions and the pace of innovation that we used to have is simply not going to be enough for us to deliver uh, on, on what these applications are going to be requiring from the industry and from the networks. And the best way to actually uh, achieve the speed of innovation, to achieve the speed uh, and the scale of processing capacity that is going to be required is through the adoption of the of open open solutions, is through the disaggregation of the network. And Dell has a long history in actually helping even other industries to go through this transformation. Probably like the most iconic one is what we saw in the IT market with the evolution from mainframes to what we now, uh, what are now hyper-converged solutions. And uh, we see these as a, as a way for us to apply not only the expertise that we, we've created throughout all these years, but combine these with new telecommunications expertise that is being added to the company and, and really help our customers navigate this transition in the best possible way. So... Bottom line, it is a, a tr transformation that is happening, that is going to happen. And we believe that Dow is in a very good position to actually help several players in this industry navigate this process in a most efficient way. These are the insights that are making a lot of buzz in the industry. So tell me about Dell's recent announcements at MWC Las Vegas. Yeah, so uh, as... A lot of the audience probably knows. So Dell has announced a renewed uh, telecommunications strategy last year. And since then, we have maintained a steady pace of announcements uh, where we basically start executing on this, on this new strategy, right? And this year in Las Vegas, in MWC Las Vegas, we announced, uh, we had two significant announcements that covered not only the, the partnerships and the ecosystem that needs to be created to make the most out of this open opportunity, but also the focus on making these open solutions more easily consumable. So we announced uh, the, the Dell infrastructure blocks for Wind River. This is a follow-on on the announcement of the Dell Telecom Multi-Cloud Foundation that came out in Barcelona. And this is really a, a pre-integrated solution that includes Dell hardware and the Wind River uh, cloud software stack uh, that is pre, uh, pre configured and pre integrated to support specific use cases. In this case, main focus is on op open RAN and, and, and VRAN uh, use cases, and that aim to really cut the, the time and simplify the process of transforming the basic uh, network infrastructure into a cloud native infrastructure and allow for open RAN and VRAN deployments to happen faster at the site. Uh, the other announcement was the cell certification program that is tied to the open telecom ecosystem lab that was early announced. Uh, and uh, what, it, what it provides is a way for software vendors to pre-certify their solutions to run on the Dell environment uh, allowing them to basically assure to their customers that their software, their, their applications, their network functions are actually ready and certified to perform according to telecom requirements 
in the Dell in the Dell environment. So it's a way for them to actually ensure their customers that uh, the adoption of their software is not going to generate any kind of hiccup in the performance of their network. So at the end of the day, both of these announcements really build on to not only uh, getting the, the this open telecom ecosystem to move faster and to innovate faster, but also making the adoption of these solutions that come out of the ecosystem easier and, and more straightforward for our four CSP customers. And Sandra, we've actually had your colleagues from Dell and Wind River on Telecom TV to discuss that joint venture that you mentioned with VRAN and OpenRAN and that collaboration. Can you tell us how that's evolving? Well, I mean, we, we are extremely uh, happy with, with the announcement and the pickup that he had in the industry. So uh, the collaboration with Wind River is, uh, is very important for us in the infra blocks. Uh, we really expect that they are going to be a, a success in the market. And we already have customers uh, that, well, some of them using it, some of them actually studying the adoption of that and really interested in understanding how that actually makes their deployment faster and their TCO more efficient. And the idea is that the concept of the infrastructure blocks for being part of an open approach of Dell, it doesn't limit to one cloud stack. Uh, so pretty soon we're gonna continue to evolve these infrastructure blocks, not only within River, but also bringing uh, other uh, cloud software stacks uh, uh, options to the market as well in, in the near future. So what is next for Dell in the open technologies arena? Well, it's, uh, as I used to say, it, it's hands-on, right? It's rolling up our sleeves and continue executing. So getting, uh, well, doing our part to get this open telecom ecosystem to continue evolving. Uh, to get solutions out of this ecosystem and making sure that our customers can access these solutions uh, in the most efficient way as possible. So really, Dell is investing a lot in telecommunications and we're going to continue doing that and uh, bringing new announcements in the upcoming events and continuing on the execution of the path that we laid out to our customers when we first announced our new telecom strategy and our telecom business uh, last year. So it's really a path of uh, a lot of hard work and execution of, on our promises and in the creation of not only our own portfolio roadmap, but also on making sure that we build a strong set of partnerships that allow our customers to have free, freedom of choice and really have at their hands the best solutions for them to evolve their networks and to, at the end of the day, deliver to the demands of their consumer customers and also enterprise customers, which are actually the biggest frontier that is out there to be explored with 5G and edge computing. Well, Sandro, thank you so much for sharing those uh, announcements and insights with us. Thank you very much, Clarence.